So when we were presented with the opportunity to like work with Fox to get Alien, yeah, it's a no-brainer. Like we're doing it. The other thing is, this industry is huge. It's enormous. Everybody loves it. But Alien isn't really represented here. I mean, there's games about alien, like extraterrestrials, but nothing that is alien. Also, it's like the 35th anniversary of Alien, the first movie, and that like just brings a lot of like marketing machine to the mix, and it just raises awareness. So it's a great timing for everything. A deck building game is a game where everybody starts with the exact same hand of cards, and as you progress, you're trying to gain new cards into your hand to make yourself stronger while getting rid of the cards that you start with because they're typically weaker. And if you do it right, you're actually building like a very efficient, lean, well-oiled engine, which is your deck. And that's how like you're able to beat the games because you're, you're continuously getting stronger, you're getting better, you're getting faster, and you're able to like take on the more powerful enemies in the game. Now, if everybody does that in Alien, you're gonna win. And if you don't, it's gonna be kinda of harder to achieve your objectives that you're going through the game. You win by completing all three objectives. If you don't, everybody dies. There's no victory points in this game. There's no competitor like, oh, my points in the end of the game are better than yours, I win, you don't. Our tagline is work together or die trying. And the reason is, in the movies, everybody's a team. It's a group of people working together to defeat whatever objectives lie ahead of them. Our game is the same way. If you get through objective one, you go to two. You get to two, you get to three. Get to three and you get through it, you've done really well, everybody wins. It's a win or lose scenario. So Marvel Legendary, you know, that engine was built for the Marvel Universe. It was built with that in mind. Alien didn't fit into that, okay? So like I said, we had to rebuild the engine from the ground up, strip it, and there's a lot of different moving parts. For example, and this is going to take some retraining on anybody who's played Marvel Legendary. Marvel, when you, when you flip over a card in the city, you reveal that villain. In Alien, when a card comes out, you keep it face down. The reason being, we're trying to capture that feeling of terror. So when it's face down and these cards are moving down the complex, you have to then scan a room to be able to flip it over and then you have to deal with that effect. So there's new card types that aren't available that aren't you know, in the Marvel Legendary, there's a ton. We've done away with Masterminds. There's no more Mastermind Tactics, no more Master Strikes. There's a really, really cool concept that I love in this game, and it's the Agenda card. You know, we have a roll card, but then we have what is called Agendas. And Agendas are something that fit right into any of the movies. And what I mean is, you get a secret card at the beginning, and everybody looks at it, you don't reveal it. But some of those Agendas could be evil. So think about like, Carter Burke and Aliens. He was the corporate guy who was like, I'm here to help, I wanna make this out, let's, let's save these people, let's get home. But he had a hidden agenda to bring an alien organism back home. So you are secretly working with the group, yet against the group, but not in a PVP sort of way. But you're just making decisions that are trying to help you get your role, like get your agenda accomplished. And it feels very, you know, honestly, like Battlestar Galactic-y, you know, like, Cylons hidden among us. I just love that kind of feel to it. So I'm very proud of the theme that we've created and the design that went into this. I think that just really is going to speak for itself. So.